Firstly, don't panic. There are several ways to unlock your device without having to lose your apps and data. We're gonna start with the easiest solution first, and if those don't work for you, we're also gonna show you not one, not two, but six more advanced and in-depth solutions that will unlock your device without any data loss. But before we get started, we recommend you to watch the entire video before getting started, and make sure to try the easiest solution first. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now folks, generally there are two strategies that you can apply to unlock an Android device. Number one's a semi-data loss method. Number two, a no data loss method. And additionally, we are also going to show you how to bypass and remove third party lock screen apps like CM Locker as well. Now folks, in case if you are wondering which method to go with first, then check this out. If unlocking your device is more important than the data in it, then go with the semi data loss method as it is the easiest and the fastest way to unlock any device out there which basically includes taking a locked Android device, then holding the power button and turning it off. Once it is completely turned off, boot into your device's recovery menu by holding a special combination of hardware buttons, which usually includes holding the power button with either the volume keys or the home button depending on your device. For my phone, it's power plus volume down. For Samsung devices, it's volume up plus home plus the power button. To find out how to boot into yours, check the links in the description box under the thumbs up button. Now folks, my device right here has an updated version of Android stock recovery. Yours might look like this or this. Either ways, navigate and select the option that says clear data, factory reset or something similar by using the touch screen or the volume buttons. After that, keep your phone in a cool and dry place till Android resets your device into a faster than before, snappier and most importantly, an unlocked device. Factory resetting your device through the Android recovery is gonna save you from a lot of headaches. Although it does format your phone deleting certain files like apps and settings, but however, if your data was synced via your Google account, which most devices are these days, all their important files will be back within hours of logging in into your Google account. Plus, it's just one straight method that works every time on every Android device out there. It's probably the easiest and the fastest way to unlock any Android device out there. Period. With that, we come to the no data loss methods under which you get to remove the lock screen and also get to keep your apps and data. Sounds great. Under the no data loss strategy, there are a total of six methods that you can apply. All of these methods are tested and would bypass, reset or entirely remove the lock screen without any data loss. As always, we're gonna start with the easiest method first and then move over to the harder ones. Number one, Google recovery option. This is the official way to unlock your locked Android device without losing any data. This is exactly what folks at Android are gonna tell you if you call them up regarding this issue. So let's get on with it. For Android version 4.0 KitKat and below, this is what to do. Enter wrong lock screen password or pattern 5 times, shouldn't be that difficult. An option is gonna appear at the bottom end of the lock screen which says forgot pattern or password, tap on that, then you'll be prompted to enter in your Google username and password that you use to set up your device. I'm gonna pass it over to my friend who owns this device to fill in his credentials. Now if you can't remember your Google password as well, then head over to this link right here to reset your Google password. Once the credentials are filled in, tap on sign in, then it's gonna take a couple of seconds to verify. Just make sure that your device is connected to the internet throughout the process. Now some of you guys might be wondering, what if the Wi-Fi or the data connection was turned off before me getting logged out? Now there is a simple trick that you can use to turn on your device's internet while the device is still logged. Simply ask a friend of yours to give your locked phone a call and boom, you'll have instant access to the notification bar and you could turn on the Wi-Fi or data connections from here. Once the verification part is done, you'll be prompted to select a new lock screen. Select one which suits you. We're gonna go with this new pattern and boom, your device is now back under control. Nothing's changed, as simple as that. But what about devices running on a later version of Android, that is version 5.0 Lollipop and above? Now folks, with higher security standards, Google decided to give away the old forgot password system and went with a more robust recovery system called as Android Device Manager, ADM in short. It basically includes keeping a locked phone aside and taking another internet connected device. It could be a computer, it could be your mom's phone, anything that's connected to the internet will do. And open up the browser and head over to this link right here. Once there, it's gonna prompt you to enter in your Google credentials that you used on your locked phone. 
Once you're logged in, it's gonna look something like this with the map of the world behind. So we get a couple of options here. Number one's ring, number two's lock, and number three is wipe. I had already made a detailed video on Android Device Manager, so make sure to watch that after watching this one. The lock option is primarily what we're gonna be using today. Here you get to enter in a new password and some additional info like your alternate phone number or a message saying please return the phone to this address if the phone was lost or stolen. And that should unlock your device if the permissions were set correctly. But if nothing works out then you can always remotely wipe your device by executing the wipe command from here. It's quite similar to the factory reset method but it's a bit faster and cooler to perform. Moreover, it would get your device unlocked without having to enter into the recovery mode. With that, we come to the custom recovery method and here's where things start getting interesting. Under this method, we are gonna technically break into the Android system and delete the files that holds your password, fingerprint and lock screen data. So when you turn on your device, Android literally forgets that your device was ever logged and opens up into an unlocked Android device with all your apps and data intact. However, the only requirement for this to work is your locked device should have a custom recovery installed. Now folks, it all sounds good on paper though, so let's go ahead and try it out. As you can see, my phone over here is both fingerprint and pin code protected, so it's locked up pretty good. So first of all, turn off your device. Once your device is completely turned off, boot into your device's custom recovery mode by holding in a special combination of hardware buttons which usually includes the power button with either the volume keys or the home button depending on your device. For my device which is a Motorola G4 Plus, it's volume down plus the power button. In order to find out yours, check the description box under the thumbs up button. Now folks, my device over here is running on the TWRP custom recovery, which is the most widely used custom recovery out there. But your device might be on a different custom recovery, which can be the Clockwork Mod recovery or the Fills custom recovery, which might look a bit different than mine over here, but more or less the basic set of options here are same across all the custom recoveries. So first of all, head into the mount section and enable everything that's on the list. Once that is done, head back and now we're gonna be needing a file manager to delete the lock screen files that I was talking about earlier. And for that, we're gonna be using the Aroma file manager. The link to that is also in the description box. Uh, simply download that file and move it into your device memory, either through an SD card, an USB cable, well, your computer will recognize your device if it is in the recovery mode while connected to your computer. Or you can also transfer the file through the USB OTG cable. Once the file is in your device, simply head over to the install section right here, then find and open the aroma file manager.zip file. Okay, mine's over here. So let's open it up. Now it's gonna take a couple of seconds to load. Once you're in the aroma file manager, navigate over to the data folder, then head over to the system folder. Then scroll all the way down and delete any files starting with these prefixes. For newer Android devices like mine, it's gatekeeper and lock screen. For older Android devices, it's simply gesture.key or password.key. So in our case, we have a total of five files to delete starts with gatekeeper and lock screen prefixes. You might have two, three, or even six files to delete depending on your device. But just make sure to delete only those files which starts with these prefixes. Either ways, select the files by long pressing on them. So it's one, two, three, four, and five. Then tap on the menu button over here, then tap on the delete button and hit on yes. Once that is done, exit the file manager and it's gonna take you back to the custom recovery menu. Then head back and tap on the reboot button to restart your device. So here's the device after the boot. Let's check out if it worked or not. So I got my finger crossed here and boom, as you can see, no more lock screen, it's completely unlocked. But before we start judging things, let's go ahead and check out if I got all my apps, games and data intact. And as you can see, all my apps, games and data are in fact intact. Nothing has changed, only the lock screen was removed, which is pretty cool. Now from here, you can head over to the security settings and set up a new lock screen. Just don't forget this one. Now folks, Android version 5.0 all the way up to 5.1.1 Lollipop has this really weird exploit that could be used to bypass the lock screen like those on iPhones. 
Uh, the only limitation with that is it only works for password locks, not for pin or patterns, and might not work at all on all devices running those versions of Android. It's basically a trial and error method which includes overloading the options that are accessible from the lock screen, like the camera app or the emergency dialer, with the prime objective of crashing that lock screen. One way of doing that is by taking a photo, then entering into the gallery and quickly pressing the home button. Another way of doing it is by entering in asterisks in the emergency dialer and repeatedly copying and pasting the same. You can also use our notification bar trick to gain access to additional options. Sooner or later, under increasing loads, these apps would crash and the lock screen would also crash for a second. Once that happens, Android will take you back to the unlocked home screen and gives you access to your device for just long enough to either apply the methods shown earlier or back up all your data so that you can factory reset your device and get your data back. Again, not a 100% guaranteed method, but it's worth mentioning. But say, what if you had a third-party lock screen installed or was forced installed by a malicious app? Now some of these third-party lock screens do come with a forgot password option, but some don't and others don't work that well. However, there is a great way of bypassing and disabling the lock screen app itself without having to unlock the phone. Well, the phone is not gonna unlock by itself, right? Nah, wrong. That's exactly what we're gonna be showing you now. Now folks, most modern Android devices has this really cool hidden mode called as the safe mode, similar to the one that we find on all computers. It's primarily used to troubleshoot and debug electronics. In order to enter into yours, single press on the physical power button, then long press on the power off option for a couple of seconds. An additional menu is gonna pop up which will reboot your device into the safe mode. For Samsung devices, it's the volume down button pressed while the device is turning on. If done right, your device is gonna restart with a safe mode watermark at the bottom left corner of the screen with all third party apps turned off, which means no third party lock screen this time around. So in order to remove the lock screen from the normal mode, navigate over to the settings section on the safe mode, then scoot over to the app section, then find the lock screen app and then simply uninstall the trouble causing app, that is CM Locker in our case. After that, restart your device, it will reboot into the normal mode and boom, no more lock screen. Again, I had already made a detailed video on safe mode and all the awesome things about it, so make sure to watch that video after watching this one. Now folks, for 99% of Android users, the above methods are gonna do the job. But unfortunately, if you fall under that 1%, then here's what you're gonna need. A computer, an USB cable, your logged phone, all mobile drivers installed, a software called as ADB, and some tinkering with your device's source file. Now folks, for most older Android devices, it's just one string of code entered into the command prompt will do the job of removing the lock screen. But for higher versions of Android, you will need to enter in a couple of strings of code to unlock your device. It's quite similar to the custom recovery method that we showed you earlier. Both methods literally includes deleting the file that holds the lock screen info. Again, the link to everything with detailed instruction is in the description box under the thumbs up button. Now folks, if that's a bit complicated for your taste, then you could also try out free or professional lock screen recovery tools available online, like say if you own a phone from one of these manufacturers or careers and you gave that extra effort in setting up that Find My Phone account while setting up your new phone, then you are in luck. In that case, head over to these links over here on another internet connected device, enter in your Find My Phone account credentials and you're gonna see something like this. It's your device's or career's own version of Google's Android device manager, just a bit fancier with a couple of extra options. Options like track, locate, ring, call logs, wipe and most importantly, unlock my screen or something similar based on your device manufacturer and career. Select that here and your phone will unlock instantly over there. Again, if your locked device was not connected to the internet, you know what to do. An almost similar service or a version of the same is provided by almost all major device manufacturers from Apple to Windows, AD&T to Verizon and also by most major Android device manufacturers. In fact, a simple Google search will help you find out a similar service if made available by your device manufacturer or career. So again folks, if you are enjoying this video on your unlocked phone, then it's always better to set up a recovery strategy as soon as possible because you never know when you might get logged out of your lovely device. It happened to me twice, it happens to the best of us. 
So folks, if this video was helpful to you in any means, or you just got to learn something new today, then don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up. And do share this video with your friends on social media. As someone once said, knowledge is power.